The inspiration for Femric came from understanding that there was a need for primary care in the developing world. We are focused on providing primary care to communities that just don't have access. It's so crucial that the people you're working with in the community understand that you're there not just to support them, but to actually show them how to take care of their own health, to show them that taking care of their own health is valuable and is important. It's really about connecting with the individual in the community, connecting with the parent, and giving them the resources and skills necessary to provide better health for their kids. 2014 is a significant year because we will have just crossed the 10-year threshold. I think the most exciting part about Fimric's journey has been watching it grow. As we've grown, we've attracted cooler people. Those people have helped us to expand from just one project in Central America to seven different countries around the world. I remember we started our first clinic in a Nicaraguan refugee settlement in Costa Rica. And through a partnership with a local organization there, we learned of a community in need in South India and started a project there. After India, we learned of a clinic that had been built next to a school in Uganda. After Uganda, we were able to start a program in Peru, actually three programs, which was an exciting time for FEMRIC. Next came our project in El Salvador. After El Salvador, we started a program in 2009 in Nicaragua and that was an exciting project for us because we really learned how to do community outreach when we don't own and operate a clinic of our own. After our project in Nicaragua, we started a program in the Dominican Republic right on the Haitian border. So this is going to allow us over time to serve people who traditionally are ignored by the local government system. At every project site, I am always inspired when I go on site and I see people working toward a common goal of delivering health care to a community that's really in need. We have the most incredible group of people who work so well together. I have so much appreciation for the commitment of our team. They put in long hours and Fimric is truly at the core of their being. We've done such a great job over the last 10 years of making sure that our communities receive the help they need from the volunteers that come to our project sites. We are a tiny nonprofit operating in a world of need. And so the volunteers really help us gain access to brilliant minds who are so committed and who, when organized around a community in need, can deliver wonderful, beautiful services to that community. My hope for Fimric is that we continue to expand our range of services at our various clinics. Right now we do a great job providing crucial primary care services. I think that the next 10 years for us really ought to be about expanding the range of services we offer. More lab tests, more diagnostic services. Let's help these communities improve their own health by making sure that we can appropriately diagnose what might be wrong. When I think about all the people who have supported FIMRIC over the years, I'm reminded of the continued need for us to invest in communities that really need our help. I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, FIMRIC does a great job in these communities. We monitor that the resources donated are used in the right ways and used to have the right type of impact.